Coronet! Shut up, sit down, and listen! We're telling you shit, damn it! Oh yeah, because back then, children used to eat like Neanderthals. We just developed forks in the 1930s. Dr. PH, how does that work? Oh look, the American just flag with only 48 day, stars. A puppet show Classic. Put on at school. It was called Mr. Bungle Goes to Lunch. Mr. Bungle also stepped into an adult it was store. Fun to watch. Said no one ever. In the puppet show, Mr. Bungle came to the boys' room on his way to lunch. Judging by his, his nose, hands. I think he's going to do a line. His hands were dirty. And his hair was messy. Well, if he wouldn't play with your hair, it Mr. wouldn't be Bungle messy, would it? didn't stop to wash his hands or comb his hair. He went right to lunch. Well, that's fine. I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, Lord, these kids must live in then, Dollsville. instead of getting into line at the lunchroom, Mr. Bungle pushed everyone aside and went right to the front. Well, yeah, he's practicing for his Heisman Trophy. This made the children laugh, we gotta no keep laughing or our parents there, die. Ah, he spilled milk! Holy shit, that's too funny! Mr. Bungle was so clumsy oh, no, not Mr. and Miss Cherry Tomato! What did they do to you? Sit next to him. And when he finally knocked his own tray off the table... There's there's me knocking and just throwing shit. The children knew that even though Mr. Bunker... Clap harder, clap harder, the clock's already cocked and loaded! Phil knew that a Mr. Bungle wouldn't what are you, have many part bunkers. seal there, Phil? Phil wouldn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Later, Miss Brown said it was time for the children who ate in the cafeteria to go to lunch. Yeah, they're called she the privileged there ones. any Mr. Bungles in this room. More like bung holes than bungles. Or maybe they're like the bangles and have another manic Monday. Bill stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. No, he you're not to supposed to eat the later. book, silly. Uh, I hate sh On his way to catch up with his friends, Phil almost walked past the boys' room, but he stopped. If you mean he phone. darted straight at it. Were his hands clean? No, they were a little dirty. Just Phil like his soul. That Mr. Bungle didn't wash his hands. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy, too. He doesn't have any hair! How can it be messy? Inside the boys' He room, found a half-lit cigarette. to see some of his friends washing their hands, too. Why are you washing your hands in a urinal? Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. Man, the 50s were weird. Okay, there's a difference between a lot and then just being then spoiled. the soap off. Phil dried his hands well, too. Yes. Many trees have to die so Phil doesn't feel filthy. Where it belonged. And then he made sure that his hair looked neat. Again, he doesn't have hair! He's practically now, curly from Phil the Three Stooges. For lunch. Oh god, it's a clone. None of these kids have hair! Why do we give a shit? There was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. You know, girls are already in line because they're not filthy. At the front of the line. Oh, George is cute. They waved for him to go up to the front with them. But Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungle... He didn't want to display his white privilege. So Phil went to the end. That was the fair thing to do. And he sit in despair. inside the lunchroom. The line moved very fast. Oh, it's like soon Perkins. Phil was inside. First he picked up his tray. Then he tried to pick up Susie. What you are witnessing should have been edited in the final then cut of this video. Way. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. Who gives a damn? It's on a tray! This isn't home! He always enjoyed looking at the good food in the cafeteria. It tasted Because he doesn't have any at home. Good for him, too. Instead of having a sandwich today, Phil decided to take the hot lunch. Ooh, Phil has a hot take. Phil took some bread and butter, too. Oh, and aren't you living the high life? Milk. But Alice took the last carton on the tray. That bitch! Maybe there was more milk. So he said, may I please have some milk? Phil I wonder how many pieces of rebar are in her bra. Please. That was very polite. For a loser. Yes, there was more milk. Oh my god, the cows have delivered! Phil remembered to say thank you when he took the carton of milk. Phil had my life milk. is a hollow lie. He didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. 
Phil didn't want to forget his dessert. A square piece of dirt. The cake looked delicious. Mainly because there are grubs in it. At the end of the line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was. She's taking a she shining to him. him. That's not creepy. He wouldn't smile at a Mr. Bungle. Phil went to the table where his friends were. Uh, no, that would be an empty table. Carefully, pulled out his chair quietly and sat down. Well, usually he swings it around aiming like for someone's head. Mr. Bungle at their table. There was someone Phil liked, Freddy. Did Freddy get fingered? He always brought his lunch from home. It looked good. Yeah, Freddy so does styrofoam. A sandwich, an apple, a cookie, and milk. Before Phil began to eat, he always put a napkin on his lap. Because he didn't so want the Freddy. saints to cry. Everyone liked Freddy. He was very polite. Fred was also For part example, zombie. He had food in his mouth when someone talked to him. Oh wow, he you can unzip her hair and open up her brain. His mouth closed and swallow before he answered. <laughs> Excuse me. Phil noticed how straight and tall Freddy usually sat. Okay, he's tall. Freddy Why are we asking about his sexuality? Phil would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Bungle. Another polite. Why do we give a shit about down. Fred? For example, when Alice sneezed, she covered her mouth and nose. This protected her friends at the table from any germs. Because you know we're all living in a While bubble. Phil and his friends ate. A boy to the ten, five. The oh, he's been tackled at the one. In the lunchroom, only Mr. Bungle would do that. What is he, a hyperactive Sheldon? Phil and his friends wouldn't like to have a Mr. Bungle at their table. Oh, God, who wears a sweater vest in this day and age? Kick the feeb out! ...and enjoyed his lunch. Finally, he had eaten everything except his dessert. He saved his... Dig in! Last. Make sure you Only snort up the crumbs. Bungle eat his dessert before he had finished the rest of his lunch. Why, I would. That's the Bungle. best part. The cake was good. It was a little dry. Oh shit! It's dry. Oh god. Are messy when they drink milk, but not Phil. He blows bubbles. As each of Phil's friends finished, they didn't leave the table, but waited for all the others to finish eating too. Oh god! What lovely Phil lifestyles the they all must time. lead. He wiped his mouth and hands carefully with his napkin. Then he cleaned the table where oh, he sat. God! What a starch press life. At the table dirty. Everyone at the table cleaned his own place well. Uh, Look at that's that up for interpretation. It was left very messy. Phil thought a Mr. Bungle must have sat there. Uh, I think it was a whole mob of them. But Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. So he he wants to conform. Place. God, why would you want to be different? His table looked fine. Not a piece of paper or scrap of food was left on it. I'll have to trust you on that. The codec on this video is kind of lax. No, Mr. Bungle sat here. Phil's friends were careful. There you go. You got it on the fifth take, the Alice. Way to go. Where they belonged. In this way, they helped keep the lunchroom clean. Why? It's a sty anyway. That Mr. Bungle wouldn't put his paper in the waste basket and his empty carton on the milk tray. What Mr. kind of conspiracy is this with the cartons? Lunch tray in the right place either, but Phil and his friends did. Phil and his friends just lunch do everything today. right. Everyone else then be Mrs. damned. Brown told Phil and his friends how proud is that she was. Dracula of on the wall? They had left their table the neatest in the lunchroom. Look at all this no gingham. What are we in Idaho? And no one wanted to be. Yeah, why on earth would you want to stand like out? Mr. Bungle? Mr. Bungle is ashamed because he spoils lunchtime. I'm sure he does. Be like Mr. Bungle. Just a piece of cloth and scary rubber. And He's so horrible. Fun for everyone. Mr. Bungle is the harbinger of the apocalypse and you should all shun him. Ugh. I just wanted to eat some goddamn food. Is that so much to ask?